So what we want to know is, does the lack of bile have the ability to create these HCL production issues? And to make hydrochloric acid, the body needs minerals and resources to be able to make hydrochloric acid. But you'll see that when there's not enough minerals there, the body doesn't have the ability to produce that hydrochloric acid. Now, there's a lot of other reasons that can cause the body not to be able to make enough hydrochloric acid, and that video will kind of walk you through figuring out maybe if there's other issues going on with you that have restricted your body's ability to make hydrochloric acid. But it's really common that when one of these sides of digestion, either the acid side or the alkaline bile side, when one of them malfunctions, it can cause the other to malfunction. Because remember, this gallbladder is being called on when this acid product leaves the stomach and comes down here into the duodenum. So if this food is not being acidified, then it's not acidic enough to trigger that gallbladder to drop the bile down. So if the gallbladder is continuing to concentrate this and it's not coming down, it might not be the gallbladder's fault, it might be the lack of stomach acid's fault because this acid is what triggers this to move in the first place. So you can see that without enough bile, you can't really neutralize the acids to leave the stomach and get all the nutrients and minerals out of the food and then maybe the body won't have enough minerals and nutrients to make that hydrochloric acid. But if a person doesn't have enough hydrochloric acid and there's not enough acidic stuff signaling the gallbladder to come down, then that can cause problems for the gallbladder too. So we don't always get to know what broke first, but we know that when one breaks that over time it can cause problems for the other. And a lot of people are going to want to say, oh, well, you know, sometimes this can be caused by bile reflux. And you hear a lot about bile reflux gastritis and they're saying that, well, this bile is coming back up here. It's refluxing back up in here into the stomach and it's probably because you had too much stomach acid. So this bile is coming in there to neutralize those acids. You shouldn't have that much acid in your stomach. Ah! They'll want to say that this is coming back up here because it's neutralizing those acids, but that doesn't make sense to me when you look at how the body wants to function and how proper digestion works. What we see is that here there's this pyloric sphincter at the bottom and this opens and closes and lets food come out but then when this acidic product here when it gets acidic enough in the duodenum that triggers this pyloric sphincter to close so that it doesn't reflux back up in the stomach. This doesn't always get triggered if this is not acidic enough to trigger that pyloric valve to close. And then if bile's coming down here but this isn't acidic enough, this will stay open and that bile can reflux right back in there. It can neutralize the acids in the stomach so that the stomach can't acidify hardly at all maybe. And then maybe we can create some gastritis issues that can come from this lack of stomach acid and other issues.